Hello world, lockpicking dev here. Today I have a generic cross lock. I um I just found it on eBay and figure why not give it a shot. I don't really have like a lot of cross locks in general. Um it only has three sides to it. It has three pins on the right here, three pins on the left, and two pins up top, and no pins on the bottom. Uh let's see if we can get this open. Uh I don't think there's any security pins. But I haven't played with this in a while, so let's find out. Pin one up top. Pin one on the left. Pin three on the left. Some core rotation there. Check pin two. There we go. Okay, all the left is all picked, so got that. There we go, on the right. We got it fully picked. And I'm not gonna turtle any farther because I know it'll just set those pins in there. And um yeah, definitely no security pins in there. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me show you this though. I thought this part about this lock was interesting, so let's go ahead and reset it. There we go. The the key that triangle right there to the left of it, yeah, to the left of it. That hole, oops, sorry. The the keyhole, the triangle to the left of it. That side right there that you can still see is wider than these other three sides. So the key only fits one specific way when it goes in. And that's that top part is wider. And that's how you get it correct. So you have to kind of, if you don't know which side's the wider side, you have to kind of spin it till it goes in. Yeah, I thought that was interesting that be able to do that in a cross lock, have one uh, side wider than the other. That's uh, decent control of production enough to where I would think that this would be just a little bit more secure, but uh, Unfortunately not. All right, everyone. There is just a generic cross lock. Thanks for watching.